Hi, I'm Brody Beta, and this is Geeklish, episode five. So I've taken a break from video over the last month or so and over the holidays because as you can see it's a, it's a tad cold outside right now in Ontario, Canada. And I'm a blogger, so I don't have an endless amount of time to be setting up lights and perfecting my green screen techniques. And the last time I set up a set in my living room, I left it for two months and my home looked like a cheap porno set. So I am outside in the cold, in the snow, bearing it for you. So CES 2011 just finished and uh, we saw a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I was reading all of your posts and uh, watching all of the coverage on TV. Uh, in case you missed it, Attack of the Show ran a two hour special the other night showcasing almost all of the stuff at CES. But here at Geeklish, we are crazy passionate about mobile. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of some cool gadgets we saw at a CES that you can use to trick out your iPhone and iPad. Two gadgets that got a lot of buzz this week that uh, connect to your iPhone and iPad were Withington's blood pressure cuff and a live course heart monitor. So this is the reason I am so crazy and insane about mobile technology. This space is blowing up with innovation. A few weeks ago I even found an app that will correct color blindness. The color blindness app DanCam was actually created by a hacker and I had a chance to interview him a few weeks ago to find out that the idea came from a Star Wars movie. So he's on a Star Wars movie with his buddy who was colorblind and he asked his friend, what did you think of the green alien? Now his friend had no idea what he was talking about and thought that the, the alien was more of a, a flesh tone color. So he went into Photoshop and created a bunch of different simulations to try and see if his friend could see green. And that's how the idea for the app was born. So I have done a roundup of 10 iOS devices that we saw this year at CES that are capable of tricking out your iPhone and iPad. And if you want to check it out, the article is on the next web and I will provide a link in the show notes at geeklish.com. One of the gadgets that came out of CES that I thought was really sweet this year were the 1080p MX goggles by Liquid Image. These goggles are able to shoot high definition video at 720p or 1080p at 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. And they're goggles. So this is perfect for downhill bikers, uh, ATV, motocross, or any sport where you would wear goggles. Another little sexy gadget to come out of CES was Cinnamon Slice. It's a multimedia projector and it's an iPad dock. So you can charge your device, but it also throws video and images from the device onto a screen and it projects the image in 60 inches. So it works with media players that support HDMI and it also has EV, AV ports for your personal media players. This was a huge week for tech folks because not only did we have CES 2011, Apple also launched the Mac App Store. Now I know this is a contentious subject for a lot of developers, but honestly, I think it's a win. The percentage of people that are not watching this podcast and are not tech savvy are gonna eat this up with a spoon. The Mac App Store totally mimics the iOS App Store structure, and it gives you a whole bunch of Mac apps in one tidy place with the added benefit of using the update feature. I think that's pretty damn convenient. Not to mention the noobs. So those who are just learning the basics of computing and just learning Mac are gonna have a place to find a lot more apps than they normally would in one place. It also simplifies the process for them of finding apps and installing them into their systems. Well, thanks for hanging out. I'm Brody Beta, and you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at iPhone Girl. You can also reach me through email at BrodyBeta at gmail.com. If you want to check out all the things I've written about this week, you can check them out at thenextweb.com or geekbeat.tv. Bye.